sure. It's, it's awesome. You have to see this. Welcome to Burpee Museum's Backyard Birds. Hi, I'm Ann Werda, and I am the Executive Director of Burpee Museum of Natural History. Today we're going to talk about three different kinds of bird feeders you can make so that you can observe birds in your own backyard. We're going to use materials that we can find around the house so that they're relatively inexpensive and a great way to recycle. The first kind we made was a plastic bottle with a wooden dowel that we put through the bottom portion. Yep. We drilled small holes in it. Put yep. this into it like that, okay? Right there, remember. I'll put my finger there so you remember. We used a yep. pin to okay, puncture a hole. Yeah, this way? Yeah. And you then widened it a little bit with scissors. And then we put the doll through the hole. Because you don't want it to be bigger than the hole. There you go, don't hurt yourself. Now find the other side. And made a hole on the other side for the doll to come all the way through. What? We cut another hole on top so the birds could eat the seed while sitting on the dowel. We put two holes in at the top to I put our a string a through, we filled it with bird seed, and we hung it up. We kind of made a mess with the bird seed. This is why you probably should use a funnel when you're putting your bird seed inside. Now once you have your feeder up, it will take a couple days for the birds to start coming. So don't be discouraged if your birds <laughs> don't come to your new feeder right away. The second feeder we made was a little bit more complicated, but we saw this one online and decided to give it a try. You're going to need a tool like a drill to drill through the bottle cap, a small container that can be like a dish, and then a small container, a flat surface that can be a plate. So we had to drill a hole in the cap. Um, it took a couple tries to get the right size for the screw that we were using. But once we got the screw to fit inside our hole in the cap. There you go. Nope. Oh, so close, do it again. We went ahead and cut our dish down to the size we wanted for the birds. We then had to drill the same size hole in both our dish and the tray that was gonna sit on the bottom. And once all three of those had the same size hole, it was a matter of lining them up, getting the screw to go through, and attaching the bolts on the back. We did use a washer on the cap side to um, prevent it from piercing through the plastic of the, of the cap. We drilled a few holes to prevent molding of the seeds, and we made a small opening right above the base so the birds could eat. When we filled it all up, we put our three pieces together and hung it up using some wire we found in the garage uh, so that it would hang nicely for the birds. In our third bird feeder, we used four pieces of wood and lined them up to make a square. We used screws to screw the edges together. And then we needed a base. So we used an old produce bag that was made out of a fabric that lets water through really easily but would support the seeds. We stapled that to the bottom of our square to create a holder for the seeds. It worked out really, really well until the squirrels decided to attack it. In the end, the feeder that attracted birds the quickest was the flat square feeder. The wooden feeder probably had the most surface area of seeds visible for the birds. They started coming to that one first, but then soon after, we're trying out all three of the feeders. Overall, this is a success. We've seen several different species, and we're excited to see how it works when you try it. If you're interested in bird watching, there's more information in the comments that you can download from different types of birds you can identify in your backyard to ways you can collect data on the animals you're observing. Don't forget to support Burpee Museum by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks and have an awesome day. Enjoy your science activity.